going on today, YouTube? Some people watching or not subscribed. What the hell are you doing? Making me wait. Tap that subscribe button and that bell notification right now. And check me out, CTS Games on Facebook and Joseph Corey on Twitch. And make sure to tap all the bells. Every last one of them. Okay, so today we're talking about the PS5. But first, the PS4 is really upset. He thinks I'm ditching it. Thinks I'm walking away, leaving it in the past. Bye-bye. Adios, amigo. We're donezo. Not the case. Not the case at all. I can't use my scuff controller on the PS5. It's not compatible. I talk to scuff. It don't work. What am I going to do for Call of Duty? Well, going to use the PS4. So I had a pep talk with the PS4. It's real upset. It's real sad. It's sitting right in front of me. Don't worry. We're still going to use your PS4. We're not giving up on you just yet. You are still the prime spot on the table right now, or the desk for that matter, because we're still going to be playing Cold War and Modern Warfare slash Warzone on the PS4, at least for a little while until we figure something out with the scuff controller. In any case, today we've got the unboxing of the PS5. Now, before we get to that, the PS5 is huge. It's absolutely humongous, like unbelievably big. In fact, it's going to take up my entire desk. If you guys don't believe me, I'm going to compare them side by side. It's like Big Bertha, Tyrannosaurus Rex. I don't even know. It is just massive. Like, I don't know where I'm going to put this thing. It's just crazy. Let's just go ahead and unbox it, compare it side by side with the PS4, and take a look at the controller. Let's get going. Hey, one more thing. If you haven't already, subscribe. Come on. What are you waiting for? Hey, I can't really see you through this box. This damn thing is huge. You guys have any idea how heavy this is? This thing is massive. Let's just go ahead and get it out of the box. I'm going to show you guys exactly how big this thing is. Like, I mean, it's just unbelievably huge. People were comparing this to a router. It's not even the same size as a router. It's as big as my monitor. Hell, this ain't no router. This thing's the size of my TV. We're going to pull this out. Typical Sony fashion. Oh my God, this thing, I'm not even kidding guys. This thing weighs like 25 pounds with the box and everything, like 20 something pounds, it's crazy. Let's go ahead and open this. I just really can't get over how big it is. I didn't expect it to be this big physically, I guess. I don't know. I just didn't. Without a doubt, this is probably the biggest box of any console I've ever purchased. This thing's about as big as the original Xbox and just as heavy, no joke. In fact, I think this is actually bigger. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys. Oh my God, this thing is huge. Instruction manuals. We don't care about that. Power cable. We're going to need it. Controller. We'll get to that in a couple of minutes. Fantastic quality. We're going to open up all this stuff right here. Let's get past the top. Here is the base, the stand for the PS5. HDMI cable. Is it a 2.1 cable? It better be Sony. USB cable for the controller. Okay, we removed the top. It is gone. It is out of here. Now it's time to bring out the console. Man, that is one big mamma jam. Let's get it out of the box and show you guys this boat that I'm pulling out of the box. PlayStation 5 is a boat. It really is a boat. Oh my God, this is crazy. Oh, it's so big. Look at this. I'm not even kidding. This is the console. What? This is legitimately the console. Like, look at this. It's so heavy. All right, I'm gonna pull it out. Let's go. May not look big on camera, but I'm going to show you guys exactly how big it really is. But just to give you guys a little bit of an example of how big this thing truly is, I'm going to put it beside the PS4 Pro, which was already massive in its own right. And let me show you guys exactly how big this huge behemoth boat anchor really is. All right, guys, so we got the PS4 Pro here. It's already big in its own right, as you guys can see. Let's go ahead and compare it side by side with the PS5, and that'll show you exactly how big the new PS5 really is. I'm having a hard time holding this mammoth. So it's a lot bigger. As you guys can see, it's not even close. The PS5 is just 
massive. I can't believe how big this console really is. I mean, it's it's almost unbelievable. Like, look at it compared to my body, all the way down to my chest from the top of my head. Okay, so now that we've talked about how big this thing truly is, let's get on to the features, the controller, setting it up, and whatnot. I thought technology was supposed to be getting better. Look at the size of the PS5 compared to the PS2. This is crazy. What? Look at this. What's up with this? A PS2 versus a PS5? Let's just compare this to something else, why don't we? Original PlayStation. Look at the size of this, okay? So this is a later generation PS3, and as you guys can see, it is a heck of a lot bigger than even the PS3 is. Wait a minute, I got an idea. Let's compare it to the original Xbox. I think I finally found something that was heavier and just about as big as the PS5 20 years earlier, and that is the Xbox. Oh my God. Woo! All right, nope, no cigar. PS5 is still bigger and just about as heavy 20 years later. What the heck? Let's face it, if you guys plan on putting this on your game shelf, it's probably not gonna fit unless you shove everything off the shelf. But let's move on to something else besides how big the console is and how much room you probably won't have to fit it. The controller is completely different than the PS4 DualShock. The quality of this controller is significantly higher than the PS4. Without a doubt, not even close. In fact, after holding this for about five minutes, the PS4 controller feels like cheap, flimsy plastic. The thumbsticks and the guides on the thumbsticks are much better. The thumbsticks roll around the guide effortlessly. This controller is butter smooth and it's heavy. This controller is at least twice the weight of the PS4, not even close. It's heavy, it feels solid, and it's smooth, and the size is perfect. In fact, it feels almost like I'm playing on a scuff controller minus the paddles. I'm not even kidding. Let's show you guys exactly what they look like side by side. Here we are side by side. You guys can see the PlayStation 5 and scuff controllers are very close in shape and size and pretty close in weight. But to be honest, the PlayStation 5 controller is a little bit better quality and a little heavier. Although I do prefer scuff just because of the rear paddles. Other than that, for a standard controller with a console, this is pretty much the best I've ever held. It is literally flawless with the exception of the rear, which is the back paddles. The resistance on the PS5 thumbsticks is definitely stiffer than the PS4. Overall, I would say it is the best looking controller as well as highest quality Sony has ever produced. There are two ways you can set up your PS5. You can set it up horizontally or you can set it up vertical. I'm gonna set it up horizontally. I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to do that, but the vertical setup is a little bit trickier. Okay, guys, here is the vertical mount for the PS5. You got to make sure this little bump right here that goes in the bottom is pointed at the nine o'clock position when you're looking directly at it. And of course, the connection here for the side of the PlayStation is at the top. And you're going to go ahead on the back of the PlayStation right here, as you guys can see, you're going to put this connection right here like I've done. You guys can see that right there. You're going to connect it right on the back like so, so it sits nice and flush. And then you're going to go ahead and put your PlayStation down on the desk. The mount sits completely flat on the PS5 right here. And that's going to allow you guys to put it on any table that you want or desk, computer desk, TV stand, doesn't matter. Now, if you guys want to set it up vertical, that's easy. Take this plate and turn this all the way up just like that. Turn to the rear and see the pin. Remove it. Take the pin out of the bottom of the PS5, which is right here in the center. You guys probably can't see that, but there's a pin right there. Take that out and replace it and push the pin through the base. And you're going to align this base on the bottom. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. Okay, it was a little difficult difficult to get that screw out. I wanted to wrestle me a little bit, but once you guys slide this pin through, you're going to have to use a slotted screwdriver. Maybe if the PS5 wasn't a boat anchor, we wouldn't have to use aluminum screws and thread it into the PlayStation to give it support. The damn thing's so heavy. I feel like I'm weightlifting over here. Ugh. Damn, I feel like I got a good workout today in this PS5. Kind of tired. Gonna need some protein now. Okay, so there's a little bit of relief here. Taking the cap off the bottom of the PlayStation 5, very easy. Watch this. Right there, we're going to go right now and remove it just to show you guys how easy this truly is. There we go. It's removed. You guys can see there's a threaded hole right there for the bottom of the base. Let's get that set up. All right, you're going to take this exactly in the orientation I have it, and you're going to place the front of this 
against the back of the PlayStation, just like I have right here. And this piece that's right there is going to sit right on the top or the bottom of the PlayStation. Now watch how I do this. Make sure to line up the grooves on either side. We're gonna slide this completely back and now it's in place just like this. That's how it's gonna go on the bottom of the PlayStation and we're gonna screw that in. Doesn't really sound right, screw it. We're gonna put the screw in. We're gonna mount the bottom of the plate to the PS5. Let's just put it like that. So it's time to mount the plate on the bottom of the PS5 and then we're done -zo. Little FYI for you guys, you can take off the clip from the bottom of the PlayStation and put it right here inside the stand. It'll clip right in. This way you don't lose it in case you wanna put it in a horizontal orientation to have some room on your TV stand, game shelf or table, desk, wherever you're playing games. It's gonna take a little bit of finesse to make room for this big mamma jamma. All right, guys, I appreciate you stopping and checking out this unboxing of the PS5. We'll check you guys in the next video. Live stream coming tonight. If you guys wanna see some Demon Souls action, that's happening tonight. Got some more Modern Warfare, got some Black Ops Cold War this weekend. Be sure to share the channel, guys. Subscribe, tap the bell, check me out. CTS Games, Facebook, Joseph Corey on Twitch. Thank you so much for stopping in. I really appreciate the support. We'll see you guys soon. Have a great day. Peace.